Hi everyone, myself I am Harsha, uh, you are watching Harsha Trainings and in today's video I am going to explain you about the tables PR and PC in Pega rules process commanders rule base. What is the meaning of this PR tables and PC tables and what is its significance and why Pega has this aggregation of naming convention starting with PC underscore and starting with PR underscore. So in order to understand this, let me explain you all this with a clear cut example. So before we get into the video, before we get onto our laptop to see this, if you are a follower of our videos, please don't forget to subscribe our channel, recommend your friends to learn Pega Rules Process Commander and get job without any coding. And if you are looking for a Pega training, please reach out to us on the number displayed in this video. And if you have any further questions or any questions related to the technical or career guidance, feel free to leave a comment uh, under this video in the comment section. We would be happy to assist you and help you to grow in your career. So let's get on to the laptop to look into what is PR and PC tables and its significance. So in any technology, any technology, it may be .NET or Java or anything, C Sharp, anything, mainframes. So whenever business, uh, whenever we are going to create database and in that, schema will be there obviously okay and tables will be there you have 100 tables okay business is going to segregate the tables into two categories one is business tables or you call it as transaction tables any terminology is okay business tables one category of tables are business tables are transaction tables another category of tables are like reference tables or you call it as master tables or you may call it as static tables anything of your wish some applications they use the terminology of static tables some application they use master some application they use reference it depends on the project which you join but all all meaningfully same you call as a transaction table or business table both are meaningfully same so let me explain about business table or transaction table. See a business table or transaction table is the one which gets impacted. Impacted when I say a record may get inserted or updated, deleted. All these three, it will impact the table. So the table gets impacted for each and every transaction that we make. That we do. So every transaction already there is a transaction running ongoing open it modify the data. So this modification will reflect back in a table. Okay, you are freshly performing a transaction. You initiated a transaction. Once you initiate the transaction ID will get generated. This transaction will get stored into a table open an existing transaction delete it then delete will happen on the table. So every action that you perform in the transaction that will be reflected back into some table one or more it may be let's understand one table so for every action suppose you withdraw money from your atm your bank account transaction table will be there right the table will get impacted adding one record deducted the deducting the balance and show the final balances uh, like whatever that is there suppose you deposit some amount of money in your bank account then the respective table in the back end will get inserted with one record okay suppose you recharge your phone that is also on nothing but withdraw amount right but you are trying to do a transfer from your account to some other account of service provider okay third party transfer when you do accordingly a record will get inserted in the table see for every business transaction activity that you perform the table will get impacted for every activity this type of tables will be there it may be one or more tables will be there so these type of tables in uh, business, what we call it as transaction tables are business tables. Everyone clear? So when you register your account on Facebook, once you sign up, one record will be inserted into Facebook users table, correct? So after your registration is completed, let's say you log into your Facebook, open your profile, add some more details, additional details. What will happen now? already record is there which will get modified to add more information update query that table will get impacted this is a 
business table or transaction table for each and every activity that you perform on a transaction same will be reflected back in the database tables will get impacted those tables are business or transaction tables everyone clear with this point online resources every one of you see suppose you take like you have a bank account okay and in the bank account you have a table by name account underscore transactions this table will get impacted every time right this is what table transaction table this is transaction table or business table for every action there is another table called customer underscore customer details there is one table what will be there in this table let me tell you there will be an id number okay of a customer plus address details of the customer and maybe some other details which branch he belongs to branch code like this some details are there in the table a number of transactions you perform is this table going to get uh, impacted suppose you do a third party transfer from your account to another account will there be any impact on customer details table there won't be any impact you recharge your phone will there be any impact you try to withdraw money will there be impact on customer details table you try to deposit money will there be any impact but it, there won't be any impact but data in this table will be used see you do a third party transfer at that time what is the customer id it should know right and what is the total balance for this customer it should retrieve right and what is the address of this customer it should utilize what is the branch from which you are trying he is trying to make the transaction branch code the data in this table will will be utilized during the transaction table will not be impacted suppose if this table has to be modified you need to go to bank submit a request for address change bank will perform a um, uh, perform an action on this table modifying your address details that will be access will be only there with bank but modifying address details is it a business transaction it is just some internal data processing data fixing and all okay updating some data which is not related to a business transaction process so there will be n number of tables like this this is just an example okay so this type of tables we call it as master tables or reference tables or static tables meaningfully static means constant data data will be constant for longer period of time any time if you want to change your uh, this one what is that address you submit a request for the bank they will modify address and that will be reflected back in this table everyone clear so if any time any other details that you are modifying which is related to your personal customer related then this table will be getting impacted only that time so when you deposit money when you withdraw money when you do a third party transfer when you purchase a product and make a transaction of payment for any of these this customer table will not get will not be getting impacted so there will be tables where we have some information in the table which will be utilized during the processing of the transactions but those tables will not get impacted at all okay these type of tables are called as master or reference tables everyone clear everyone okay so this is everyone should be aware of these things before you proceed to work on prbs i'll take two more minutes look at here see there are some tables in pega where the name starts with pc underscore right and still there are some tables where the name starts with pr underscore there is one more prefix i'll tell you later so pc underscore pr underscore pc underscore if it is starting means that is transaction table pr underscore it is starting means that is master table the kind of master table which won't get impacted when you make the business transactions okay so we will continue tomorrow to discuss about data types and creating tables and using it okay we'll take time to explain those so so far everyone clear about what is transaction table and what is reference table in general and prefix before the name of the table pc and pr pc means that might be used for transaction pr means that will be used for reference master data okay 